can sell that crab as well. A good price okay, soul for trap. a good customer. Don't really need that. Yeah, there really isn't that much I can sell to her. Yeah. Tell your friends about me. Sure. Good day. So probably she's not say, saying anything about her daughter. Or her daughter. Got nothing to eat. Okay, so... More unfinished business. <laughs> Hello. Good to see you. Do you ever spend time in the oak enclosure? Okay, this in. Unless there's a drink in this for me, you might as well stop talking. Hmm. Hi. I can't believe I've been reunited with my brother. I can't thank you enough for helping to reunite me with Reynold. I never would have guessed he was still alive. We have much to discuss. But if you have time, I'd beg you to stay a moment longer and hear about our home, Weatherly. Sure. Weatherly was our family's home for generations. Our parents fled it when ogres attacked. They became separated. My father carried me to safety. He later returned and believed Reynold and my mother had perished. Since ogres are cannibals, he didn't expect to find their bodies. Thankfully, however, it seems that my mother managed to carry Reynold to safety. While my mother didn't survive, Reynold did, and for that I'm grateful. But we both want more. We want our home back. We're not fighters. You appear to have more skill than either of us. Would you go to Weatherly and see if it's still inhabited by ogres? Yeah, I'll kill them for you. Thank you. Now, we're not quite sure where the estate is located. We'll offer up what we know, however. We believe it's somewhere south of Coral, south of Fort Kamala. It may be difficult to find. Since no one's lived there for many years, it may be quite overgrown by now. If you find it, let us know. We'll be waiting anxiously. Be careful. I don't know what dangers may lurk in the Great Forest. Well, ain't you the High Tom Titty? You want something, I guess, or you wouldn't be messing up my air. What a dick. Yes, I've heard of the place, but I'm not sure where it is. I think your best bet would be to speak to Sabine Lal at the Fighters Guild. Well, I knew it. Blacksmith. She's explored the back country outside of Coral quite a bit. You too. Okay, she seems, seems like Good she's afternoon. in the Fighters Guild. Hello. Currently, so yeah. We need to go on. Speak with her. Sabine, where are you? Probably in the basement. Hello. Sup. Things could always be worse, and probably will be. I'm Kurz Grobarov. What can I do for you? You don't train. Good day. Don't tell me she just fucking left when I walk in. I'm Lom Grobarov, the cheerful one. My brother Kurz? Eh, he's not so cheerful. Pay attention and you can learn a lot. Hmm. Knowledge. Knowledge is pretty cool. Let's see if we the true skillful fighter learned to block with the shield and weapon. Urgent practice has made you a German at blocking. Blocking no longer damage your weapon or shield. Ooh, nice. Blocking with your bare hands will cause your opponent to recoil a bit. Although you take full damage from the attack. Knowledge. Be seeing you. All right. She's right here. Well, hello there. 
Sabine Lowell, Guildsmith. Real happy to meet you. So, what can I do? <sighs> okay. You can tell me where this place is. Hmm. Let me see. Oh yes, I remember. I think it's directly south of Coral. Place was overrun with ogres, though. Nasty brutes. Here, let me show you where it is on your map. Oh, thank you. You too. Hi there. I'd like to learn more. I'd like to learn more about honey. Anyway. Oh yeah, this was one of the ruins. I cleared before. It's directly south from this place. And the other one might be the stupid hack dirt. Another settlement that is showing on the map. Hey horse, you better stay here because these ogres are nasty. Those are the smaller ogres, yeah. Red guard of all stone wreckers. The rich isn't that great, it's also good for me. Yeah, they want me kill the ogre, please. That is quite nasty. Oh yeah, they ate a lot of human here. That is for sure. It's still a fucking wine. Oh, they probably don't drink alcohol. Yeah. This place is a mess. It is a mess indeed, anyway. Time to speak with Gilbert, I guess. The Grey Mare. So, buddy. Is it safe for us to return to Weatherly yet? Yes. Wonderful. Weatherly is ours. Are you ready to take us there now? Sure. Right. We're off. Oh wait, I can just fast out there. <laughs> what is it? Should we stop? Let's go. Right. We're off. Maldis. Quite weird. Thanks so much for getting us here safely. I'm afraid we aren't very wealthy, but here is all I can offer you at this time. Please, visit us again soon. Sure. At long last, it's good to stand at Weatherly again. Ah, so good to be back home. Hey there! I remember they will be really mad if I, like, saw the sword to that guy. They actually asked me to find the sword. The ogres certainly made a mess of this place. Hopefully by the time you visit us again, we'll have it cleaned up. Yeah, what the hell is happening in this game? Last, it's good to stand at Weatherly again. Gilbert should be able to help you with anything you need. 
For now, I'm going to celebrate. Yeah, you better clean this place up. So, what I wanted to do... <laughs> yeah, maybe I should really visit the Countess. And do that quest for her... I don't know, should I? Maybe I should wait for the sword. Yeah, I would really try, like to try that quest for the sword, to be honest, right now. Dark Elf guy should approach hey. me, I believe. Dark Elf merchant. Might they actually be in Coral, but probably here in Coral. Maybe if I wait like a few days. I know, I know this is the boring part. I'm waiting. Maybe this guy actually. Hi there. Well met. So, the brothers have once again reclaimed Weatherly, eh? Good for them. Huh. Farewell. Maybe not this guy, I think he, he got like some sort of head. Okay, maybe. Yeah, I remember it's like two or three days, maybe. If not, then I will do something else. I just wanna see if it is actually for this. Nobody's trying to find me yet. A coin? Okay, let's see if they did something with this or no. Still the dead ogres. The place is still a mess. The hell are you doing, you two? You're doing nothing. That is what you are doing. Jeez, people. Hmm. I'm listening. Please, go ahead. What's new with you? I saw a mud crab a couple of days ago. Ugly little animals. Ugly things with their thick shells and sharp What the fuck? Claws. I avoid <laughs> them. Take care. I'm through talking to you. Take care, I'm through talking to you. Oh, here it is. I may have a bit of a proposition for you involving the Germain family you so recently assisted. Sure. It was kind of you to escort the Germains back to Weatherly. However, the original owner of Weatherly left them an even greater legacy. In fact, there's quite a bit more to their family history than meets the eye. Want to hear about it? Sure, tell me. Excellent. Curiosity should never be denied, is it not so? And who knows, my story may prove profitable to both of us once it has come to its end. My tale actually begins with the father, Albert Germain. He was once in my employ, or should I say, the employ of my organization. Thief. He was very good at obtaining things that people did not want to part with. A professional thief, to put it bluntly. He was assigned to obtain a very valuable item for me. He succeeded, but decided to keep this item for himself. An unfortunate decision. He fled from Coral with his family and was never heard from again. Only his small son, Reynald, was found, wandering alone in the wilderness. Naturally, my associates and I believed he had perished. The wilderness is, after all, a dangerous place. 
No place to take your family. Then, these many years later, voila, the brother reappears. It seems the rest of the family did not die in the wilderness after all. Okay, what do you want me to do? Indeed. What is the point of my tale? Albert Germain builds Weatherly way out in the middle of nowhere. He was a thief, not a farmer. The only reason to establish such a place would be to stay out of the Coral Guard's sight. I believe that the item Albert stole, which rightly belongs to me, was hidden at the Weatherly settlement. Unfortunately, the notorious Red Guard Valley Ogres ransacked the place and probably took all of the loot back with them. If you were to obtain this item somehow and bring it to me, I would pay you very well for it. I can get you started by telling you where the ogres live. The rest is up to you. Sure. I do not care to describe it. You will know it when you see it, I think. It is not something one of the ogres should have in his possession. Hmm. There isn't much to tell you about Albert Germain. He was one of my best, then he got greedy. The rest is history. Tell me more. Looks like me. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't buy or sell things. Oh, you already deal with goods. You shouldn't pass on golden opportunities. Have you ever been interested in joining the Mages Guild? I believe if you do not want the sword, you can get actually a really good shield, so you'll see about that as well. Okay, the cave should be right here. Man, a lot of guards. Come. Yeah, I saw a troll there. Ah, oh, it's better fooling me. <coughs> For that thing, whatever it was, maybe Spriggan, because it was summoning something. Oh, shit. That is not the healing. <laughs> I was using the buff spell. Again, like the tremors. Yeah, it seems like we'll have to fight a lot of ogres here. And these ogres are quite easy to deal with. God, it's so shiny. There seems to be entrance down there as well. But there's some... Something is telling me I should go this way. I don't know, maybe I'm going the wrong way. Who knows? Yeah, as you can see, those ogles are really small. This might be the way that it. Or maybe not. Yeah, I was supposed to go down probably. Oh well. The intuition was wrong. Yeah, I guess it unlocked the beach. This way. 
should be the right way. Oh, chieftain. Yeah, this guy is quite tougher and bigger. He's as big as regular ogre, probably. Whoa. Whoa. It's time luck to dead, huh? Oh, he hurt me quite a bit, but yeah, he was. Oh, it was just this sort. Actually, it's pretty good. Yeah, looks like ebony sword. I believe he will just give you money. But in Castle you'll actually get a shield. And I believe the shield is actually pretty good. If of course am I remembering that correctly. My body sword is nice, but yeah, it isn't really great. My other stuff is on the basically dead big level. Well, maybe not the girl's dream, but the other sorts. Of course, that guy won't be very happy. Take the sword in the castle. The castle. <laughs> uh, I will have to wait for Countess. Five hours will be more than enough, I think. Hello, I'm Leith Wavrik, the Chief Herald and Countess Velga's attendant. Welcome to Coral. I got this stolen item. Many years ago, when the Count was still alive, a daring thief stole the ancient honor blade of Coral from out of this castle. Why? Uh, I got the sword here. This is incredible. I never thought to see the sword again. How did you... Never mind. One should not look a gift horse in the mouth. Indeed. Please accept my thanks on behalf of the people of Coral for restoring this sword and the honor of our city. As a token of our gratitude, I bestow upon you a symbol of honor and heroism, the Escutcheon of Coral. You've done a great service to Coral, and you should be proud. Oh, thank you. Fare thee well. Forty five hundred and seven artifact damage twenty on soft armor ten. You give me shield block forty five heavy armor. Yeah, I want to go with the shield. Looks like A1 shield. <laughs> with the coral symbol on it. Quite fitting actually for my catalog as well. And we'll change hey. China dress, which makes me look here. <laughs> it's you. Hi. Good to see you. It's a pleasure to meet you. 
I am Countess Valga of Coral. I wish I had time to chat, but I'm afraid I'm in the middle of an investigation. Goodbye. I wonder if you could just Please. could stole the sword back. If it is somewhere and just give it to that guy and get the money as well. But that would be evil. That quest is complete. Well, not really. I need to speak to Brad about it as well. Probably to the one that isn't drunk all the time. Wait, they are inside. Maybe they finally fixed this place. Oh, seems like they did. Well, good for you, brothers. Good for you. Oh, well, finally they did something with this place. I've heard what you've done. You have something to tell me about my father? Yes. I... I'm at a loss for words. Already I've heard that the Honor Blade rests again in Castle Coral, and the escutcheon of coral you have is all the proof I need. My father had told us that he had hidden something away for us, something to provide for our future, but I never imagined it was this. I'm sorry you had to be tasked to right this wrong that my father was responsible for. Once again, you've stuck your neck out for us. Maybe in the past my family was notorious, but never let it be said that the current Jemaines don't pay their dues. I'd like you to have this keepsake. My father gave it to me when I was but a lad. I think you should have it. Thanks again, my friend. You are always welcome in our home. Hmm, Grand Soldiers. Honor suits you well. May your journeys always be safe. Uh, are they at least full? Four of them and... Yeah, they could come all over. Not bad. I guess. Oh, their garden is restored as well. It looks really, really nice. They're still dead by the ogres, but they will disappear after some time. So yeah, that is done. And the other thing that I wanted to do, yeah. Was to go Castle Bruma. And speak with Countess. Hmm, snowing. The memories from the beginning of this OP, more than a month ago. <laughs> well met, milady. Good day. I'm Tolgan, herald to Countess Narina Carvain here in Bruma. She requests your company at your earliest convenience. What is this regarding? Countess Carvain would prefer if you speak to her in person. She also said to present you with this stipend as a taste of things to come. My lady holds court from eight in the morning until six in the evening each day. That would be the best time to see her. Sure, and you'll get 25 gold. Safe journey, my lady. As you can see, she ca she have like a cavalry katana here. It's a pleasure to see you. I've heard much about your deeds from my people in Bruma. I trust the stipend Tolgan gave you whetted your appetite. Oh, really? Good point. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Countess Narina Kavain. I assume you've noticed all the Akaviri relics I'm displaying. Indeed I did. Well, it's safe to say I'm a collector of sorts. I've invested a great deal of time and money acquiring these bits of ancient history. In fact, I'd be so bold as to proclaim my collection the most complete in all Cyrodiil, perhaps even beyond. Except for one thing. A particular relic has eluded me for many years. Possessing this piece of Akaviri antiquity would the make my collection stone, or what it's called. I'm of course referring yeah. to the Draconian Madstone. What the hell is that thing? The stone is a fine bit of Akaviri craftsmanship. Worn like an amulet, this talisman is said to protect the wearer from poisons of any type. Mm, decent. The madstone appears as a snake coiled around and encircling itself. 
The eyes of the snake are supposed to be precious gems or some such. Through my sources, I've learned that the last reported location of the Madstone was the ruins at Pale Pass. Where the hell is that? Are you familiar with the history of Pale Pass? Mm, pretty much, yes. Well then, history lesson notwithstanding, I hope you can recover the Draconian Madstone. But you are the longer history along, along the quest anyway. If, if you, you don't retrieve know it. the Draconian Madstone for me, I'll be happy to compensate you by rewarding you with another Akaviri artifact. Are you game? Sure. I had a feeling you'd accept. Good. Then let me tell you how you're going to find the Madstone. I've come into the possession of a diary written by an Akaviri messenger. I suspect that the text within can lead you to the ruins. Here's a translation of the passages we could still read. It was quite damaged. I've also included a rough map that was drawn in the diary as well. I'm also providing you with a unique key that was supposedly found with the diary. I'm assuming it'll prove useful when you arrive at the site. Okay. I paid several scouts to try and find the ruins at Pale Pass before I hired you. They were only able to locate the first of a series of landmarks. These landmarks are mentioned within the diary. The one referred to as Dragon Claw Rock has been located. I'll mark it on your map. The rest is up to you. My scouts reported bitter cold and dangerous creatures in the area, so they couldn't proceed. Be cautious and return home soon. Good luck. Okay. May the path ahead be free of danger. Yeah, anyway, first time actually was doing this quest. I remember those Lan Drenoth or Drenov or whatever. Sp yeah, I can't even pronounce this shit. Being there. That was like a long time ago, you know, when I was playing his note. Yeah, we, we got the Dragon Claw Rock there. There is the Fortress of the Blades. Anyway, when we come back, we will do this quest. So, thank you for watching as always, and see you then. Goodbye.